That Chaparral High School student arrested for two sex assaults in Scottsdale. ABC 15 investigator Lori Jane Gleha has been sifting through more than 200 pages of police reports. And Lori Jane, you've learned police may have come in contact with the suspect twice before they actually arrested him. Yes, yeah, Steve, both times was October 24th, more than a week before they arrested him. And that's the same night that he's accused of committing one of these crimes. Scottsdale police records show an officer stopped by the condo where Danny Jackson lived after getting word of another Scottsdale sex assault and the brief description of the suspect. The officer had had previous interactions with the Jackson family and thought the suspect description matched someone in that household. He detained one of Jackson's family members when he got to the condo. The name of that person is redacted from the police report. Moments later, another officer brought a witness to the condo to identify whether the detained person was the rape suspect. She said it wasn't the right guy. Eventually, a tipster led police back to that same apartment complex more than a week later, where Danny was arrested after getting into a car with a friend. The police report shows the driver of that car told police a patrol officer stopped Danny and him at the complex a week earlier to make sure they didn't have any warrants. The officer even asked them whether they had noticed anything suspicious because there had been several recent rapes in the area. And of course, DNA at the crime scenes ultimately matched Danny Jackson's DNA. But there was one other interesting thing that was noted in this report. Both victims noted a strong body odor coming from the suspect. And when the police officers pulled over Danny Jackson, they also noticed the strong smell and even talked about it amongst themselves and did it, noticed it enough to note it in their police report. Yeah, any clue will help, I guess. Thanks so much, Lori Jane. Some new information.